Hi, uh, can you hear me? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm from Rebo Technology. Uh, today, I'm going to give a talk about the uh, respite lease tension support in GCC. Okay. Uh, the respite RVB GCC that I have open source in the respite foundation repo. Uh, uh, it has been widely used by many people uh, so far. And uh, now I'm working on the pushing the codes to the GCC upstream. Uh, hopefully the GCC team will support the REV intrinsic. Okay. Uh, this is the outline I'm going to present you. Uh, the first is the basics uh, of the REV. Uh, I will pick up some uh, REV ISA, I, the basics to introduce. Uh, the second is the intrinsic support. Uh, the next is the auto-vectorization support. And then the evaluation between the RVB GC and the RVB cloud. Uh, and the final is that the challenges and the to-do list about the RVB GC. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna to talk about is the uh, programming model of the RVV. Uh, the first is that we have a 32 vector register. Every register has a fixed uh, vector length space of the state. Uh, the second is that uh, I'm going to talk about is that we have the vector type register. Uh, this register is to specify the operation. Uh, for example, like uh, unlike the ARM SB or X86, they encode the uh, vector element width in uh, encoder, encoder instruction. But uh, in RVB, we need to specify the vector length, uh, uh, vector element width in this V type register to tell the CPU or tell the hardware uh, whether uh, the operation, uh, whether it's the, doing the operation on 8 bits or 16 bits or 32 bits, like. Uh, and uh, the next is the vector length register. This register is to specify the number of the element to be updated uh, with the result from the from vector uh, instruction. So uh, the next is the vector byte length. Uh, I call it the length B. Uh, this is the uh, design time cost in any implementation. It is useful for the vector length agnostic auto vectorization. Uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, in the following cha uh, chapters. So here, this is the, an example of, of uh, how we can see the RBV uh, clearly. This is the sequence. You can see here, we use the VSET VLANs. This is a special configuration instruction to specify the V type and the, ve and the vector lengths. So here, you can see here, this is, we specify the uh, vector lengths with three elements and this is uh, we specify the like, b type meaning this we doing the operation like the operation on uh element with, with is 32. so this is a vector add instruction for example so in this instruction let's suppose the vector length is 128 bits and then you can see here for the v length is the three elements and the mass like like this you can say this will be updated to the test. Uh, this will not be updated to the test, and this will update. Because there are four elements, the last element, because we specify the relance is three elements, but this one is the tail. This will not be updated. Okay. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the configuration configuration setting, uh, setting instruction. Well, this is the uh, instruction that I have shown you that is, is the reset links instruction. Uh, it's used to specify to uh, specify the vector links and the V-type. Okay. Okay, here is a simple example from the RVBISA. Uh, so far, I'm gone, I'm, uh, I didn't talk about too much details about the RVB. So if you one more details, you can read the RVB ISA like in the GitHub. Okay, uh, this is a simple instruction how the loop, uh, like this is a vector back at example, how the loop work for the uh, RVB. You can see here, this uh, 
uh, with that relays doing the two things, you can you can uh, say that is uh, is calculate the uh, element uh, to be updated in the current iteration, and then set the elements uh, how many elements that we uh, will update to uh, in the current iteration. So this is the how a uh, number of the element uh, we will update in the current iteration. And this is, you can call it, this is the rest of the element to be updated. So here, the key is here. You can see here, this is a subtraction. Every time in the iteration, we will subtract the uh, the rest, the A0 and uh, to T0 until the A, A0 to be, Z, to be zero and then it's see the loop. Okay, this is the RBBA uh, ISA basic. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I talk about this. So now let's go, go into the major part of the, uh, I'm gonna talk about this is the first, is the intrinsic support in uh, RBB GCC. Okay, uh, uh, the first thing I'm gonna to introduce you is the built-in framework. The built-in framework uh, I, I, do, I do is using, uh, uh, using the special, spec, uh, uh, follow the ARM SBE. Like uh, you can say here, this is the, uh, header of the RBB intrinsic. You can see here the RBB intrins intrinsic header organization like MSV. I didn't, unlike the NEO or the S86 uh, headers, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't include the, uh, the RBB intrinsic wrapper to, uh, in the header. Uh, this, uh, this we can gain benefits from this organization. The first is that we don't need to include the wrappers in the header, so we can uh, reduce the compilation time of the revive vector in uh, header. Because we have uh, in RVB, I say we have over 80K built-in functions. If we do uh, too much, uh, wrappers in the header, uh, it will reduce the, com will increase the uh, compiling, compilation time significantly. And also, uh, if you short the uh, implementation in the RBB, in the GSC, it's easier to maintain. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing is that I'm going to talk about is that how I uh, do do some implementation to uh, change the GCC IR uh, in this built-in framework. Let's take a look at this. This is uh, one of the RBB intrinsic API. Uh, in this API, we, we need to first generate the VLEFF uh, instruction. The second is that we need to read the vector lengths and store the vector lengths into this new value. So if we call this single it user, call this single intrinsic, in the GCC IR, uh, I will change this the statement into this and this. So you can hear, see here. The first I call, uh, I put the first statement is called the VLEFF. Uh, and then the last thing, uh, the next thing is that I read the building. So you can see here, the assembly, the first is uh, this, these two instructions. Okay. The next I'm going to talk about is the insert reset willing pass. As I said about, as I said before, that every vector instruction we need to use reset willings to specify the willings and the V type. Yeah. So you can see here this instruction is uh, I I did this instruction. You can see here this is the V type. You can say here. Yeah. So I specify the V type here. And then this is the VLANs. So this is the VLANs. Um, uh, the compiler uh, should insert the reset VLANs for every intrinsic automatically uh, and correctly. Uh, this pass I implement is using the RTL pass and and the uh, aggregate and the algorithm implementation is following the LVMO because I have uh, tried the uh, LVMO, uh, RBB LVMO, uh, it works very, uh, very well. So I follow the um, implementation. Like, uh, so the implementation is uh, almost the same as the LVMO. 
Yeah, uh, so this is the LVM implementation. Okay. Uh, this is the insert VLANs. Um, ask how, how, how it works. Uh, the first thing is that uh, I collect uh, the information how the basic block, each basic block of fat of VLANs and V type. Uh, the second is that uh, do the flow control uh, flow analysis and propagate the VLANs V type status. The last thing is that I, I insert the basic VLANs for each instructor. So here, I'm going to share some intrinsic, uh, interesting, interesting uh, optimization ideas uh, of this. So you can, sorry. Yeah, you can see in this example here. Uh, here, this is, uh, you can see here, uh, for, the, for the loop, uh, the interest inside the loop, he can either go, uh, from the uh, from the first condition, either the second condition. So you can see here we set we set relays in this basic block, and set in this basic block. How, however, in the inside the loop, we don't need to insert we set relays. This is uh, uh this is an interesting idea that uh, I, I show you. I think it is interesting that I use the PHI information to do the optimization. Okay, this is another optimization, uh, but I'm going to skip this. Um, okay, uh, even though I, I have talked about that the, um, the implementation uh, of the insert VLANs pass uh, are almost the same as the Clown and uh, LVM and GDC, uh, this I, so I, uh, but I, there is some difference. So I create this is, uh, we have the difference between uh, register spilling between the LVM and GC. Yeah, uh, this is the for register spilling here. So for this is the coding of the LVM. You can uh, you can see here. For 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 the register spilling for the uh, in LVM, they use the whole register uh, store to blue store to do this, meaning that. They even though this is only one eighth, meaning uh, not a full vector register uh, to store, but in the LVM they store the whole register and load the whole register. However, for for, for us uh, for the GC we don't do do this. I do this using the uh, this store uh, instruction and with the um, we set the links. Uh, to only store, only spill uh, one eighth of the register. So uh, our GC spill size is smaller than the LVM. That is the difference between GCC and the LVM. Okay, um, the final six of the RVV uh, intrinsic support uh, I'm going to talk about is the 64-bit uh, handling in the RV32 system. Uh, let me intro uh, talk, uh, introduce you the background. Uh, we have a set of the instruction we call vector scalar instruction, meaning like, for example, this is a V at VX instruction here. Uh, this is the vector register, and this is the general purpose register, or you can call scalar register. The operation, uh, the, the meaning of this operation is that add A1 value into each ele active element, uh, active element of the V, uh, uh, this vector register. So here, this is an example of, I call it this intrinsic here. So in the RV64 system, uh, the element bits uh, links in, uh, in each scalar register is 64. So each scalar general register can hold a uh, 64-bit value. However, for RV32 system, you can see here, this is the com uh, compile option. Uh, at each general register can only hold 32 bit. So if you want to, uh, to store the value of the, oh no, sorry, it's for this. Uh, if you want to store the value of integer 64 into the register, you need to 
uh, span to register. So we need a so we so in the so in the sixty four system you can see here it's very simple. Just call this instruction. However, for the RV thirty two B, we need some special. The first is that we need to store this sixty four value into the memory. Here you can see here used to uh, store that is uh, instruction to the memory. And then we use the instruction to load uh, this scalar in integer uh, 64 bit value from the memory and then broadcast to the whole vector register. And then finally, we do the vector add. Vector add with vector and v. And vector you can see here, VV. This is the reaction. This is the, we, we, imp uh, we do the implementation in the GC, but uh, at this, Overall, this implementation is the same as the LVM, uh, but there is some difference between GC and LVM. Here, I'm going to, uh, this is how I implement it. I, I mean, I do the implementation in the GIMPO, uh, GIMPO, uh, GIMPO GC CIR. Uh, this is uh, how I implement. So you can see here, I first, I use the broadcast instruction to duplicate and then and then I generate the vector add between vector and vector. Sorry, if I may stop you, there's a question in the audience. Uh, yeah, so sorry. Uh, hey, a uh, couple of questions. Uh, first question is, you said there are like 80,000 intrinsics. Are those table generated or does somebody actually write them by hand? Uh, I, you, you mean how, how do I implement this intrinsic in the GC, you mean? Okay. Uh, I, 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 actually, I didn't uh, count uh, how many exactly how, how many are uh, intrinsic in the GCC, uh, RVV intrinsic document. Uh, but I, I know the approximate the, the number of the intrinsic. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this, in the, this has been in, implemented in the LVM table gene and uh, I I also implement it in the GC too. Okay. Um, uh, so, does anybody know how, how these were generated? I mean, is this? It sounds like it's a nightmare to, you know, maintain, right? Um, uh, I, I, sorry, I, I didn't understand, understand your question uh, clearly. Can you say again? On. Hold on. Somebody in the audience uh, wants to say something. Hello, uh, it's Kito. Uh, I guess I can answer that. The, the, why, why the number of the intrinsic is, is so huge is because the uh, type of system in the RV uh, is has some different combination with the uh, data wise. For example, the A, B, 64 bit, 32 bit, and 64 bit. Then there is four combination for single instruction. And then there is another concept called ELMO. It can use in the uh, sequence uh, uh, more than one register. So one, two, four, eight register can be a group. So four data type uh, across the four different ELMO. Yeah, this is the V type. Yeah. We specify the V melt, uh, we call it regi yeah, uh, so register. So, so it's, yeah, it's kind of uh, uh, in uh, and combination, so you just list all the instruction and the generate a lot of uh, intrinsic. So, as I remember, the uh, in fact the vector in instruction is only a uh, two thousand. But if you combine with the different type and the wise, then it become the eighty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. You can see here. I write this. This is the element with. There are four types. Maybe in the future, we need to support 128. And then this is the vector register grouping. You can see here, one eighth, meaning yeah, one four. This is one half of the register. This is uh, one register. This two register, four register, and eight register. You can see each, each instruction, we, we have four multiply seven, maybe one, no, two, I, three. I, I understand how the combinatorics work. I just didn't understand how it was set up, if it was table driven or uh, somebody actually wrote these things by hand. That's what I was asking. Um, so uh, I can take it offline. I, I did have another question about 
how do you specify to the compiler what the actual hardware is capable of for the target and uh, or is it is it done at runtime or do you have to do it at compile time uh, because you know obviously they're you know quite different implementations of vector right uh, okay <laughs> uh. do you, do you, did you understand my question <laughs> sorry I did not understand maybe Kito can you can you say it again I don't think <laughs> Okay, basically, uh, this most uh, information is come from the, the ISA string, dash and arc, RBC, blah, 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 blah. And uh, the arc string has now encoded some <laughs> essential information, like uh, the minimal vector length and uh, what the data wise has supported. So the GC implementation is relied on lost info to generate the code. Okay, now I understand your question now. You mean how uh, I. I use the scripting or I handwriting the how, the intrinsic generation. Yeah, you you know how I maintain this, right? Actually, well, the maintain the maintenance of this RVV intrinsic support is not very difficult. Yeah, just because we I have uh, iterators, uh, just encoding the in the GSC implementation, so it's not that hard. So, yeah, because if we uh, if I say a again, here, okay. Here, if I define this, you can see here, define RVV function. There is an iterator you can see here. This is a BI, meaning there, uh, all, all the machine model, or you can call machine model, or all the RVV vector types are in these iterators. So I just only, for the maintenance, I just only define one single line here, I, and then the GC will add the, all the intrinsic related to the VAD, the, all the vector types uh, related to the VAD inside the GCC uh, declaration. Uh, am I, uh, uh, am I, is this clear? Okay, okay. Hey, oh, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe I can back to the next question. Let's mostly. Okay, moving, uh, 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 can I? Uh, keep uh, move on the next page. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can I move on the next page? Sorry. Can I move on to, to the next page? <laughs> Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, the uh, the uh, yeah for for this uh, uh for this handling uh I'm going to show you the difference between LVM and the GC. You can you can see see here. Oh no, this is uh this is one of reduce the duplicate vector register. You can say here if we specify for this uh uh or X. So we just only duplicate or broadcast a vector register only one time and only once, and then use them in the following instruction. Okay, this is the difference I'm going to, I need to talk about. So, sorry, this is a difference between the code chain between the GC and the LVM. You can see here the X, this, uh, this intrinsic you can see here are, in, are inside the loop here. Uh, in GC, we are able to hoist uh, vector duplic duplication or broadcast outside the loop. And uh, this is a uh, cloud LVM code chain. You can see here the vector broadcasting inside the loop. So this is the difference between the GC and the LVM. Uh, you can see here, this is the compliance broadcast. You can see the code chain for LVM. Okay. That is clear, right? Okay. Uh, the next, the next is the register correlation optimization. I'm going to talk about. This is the ARM example for. Uh, this is an example of ARM. Uh, you can see here. Uh, in this example, the ARM uh, generate redundant 
move in Sosun Shia. So this is also the problem for RBV. So I implement a uh, register called lazy in the RBV. So you can see here, there is no move register, register uh, redundant, no, uh, no redundant register move in Sosun Shia. Uh, this I have to done the register, uh, register called lazy. Okay, the next stuff is I'm going to talk about, uh, and I think this is a uh, big, uh, is the auto vectorization support. Okay, uh, the auto vectorization support uh, um, is that we support all of this auto vectorization. And uh, we, for the RVV, we support scalable vector, uh, vector links. So we have a vector links agnostic or vector links specific, meaning that. This one, it, this auto vectorization meaning during the compilation, the compiler uh, doesn't uh, doesn't know the actual vector length of the hardware, and this one is the specify the hardware vector length to the GC. Okay. Okay. Let's talk. Uh, let's take a look about the uh, the difference between RSV S eighty six and IBM between the RBV. The difference. Uh, I'm going to point out the difference that the ARM SV and the 688 uh, 86 uh, target they support BF 16 uh, floating point uh, type, but in RVV we don't support this. And uh, the next is that uh, the ARM SV only need the predication uh, vector vector operation predicate by the mask uh, also with the uh, x86. But for the RVV, we need to support uh, vector links, a uh, predicate by the vector links only, or predicate by the mask only. And also we need to support the predicate vector predication by mask and links both. Uh, here I'm going to talk, tell you why we need this support. You can see here, this is the one, this is the, Example here. This is an example predicate by links here. You can see here the iteration, the loop iteration n is a variable, meaning the compiler doesn't know this, uh, how many ML we need to deal with. So we introduce links load and links add. So this is the operation uh, include or uh, predicate by the links only. Okay, the next is that the links is known for the, meaning the comp compiler know the iteration, how many iteration we, we need to deal with. Uh, there is control flow here. So for RVV, uh, we also have the, uh, we, other vector operation also can be predicated by the mask, but the mask can only generate by the compile instruction. You can see here, this is a mask flow, and this is the compile instruction, compile pattern. You can see here, this is a, Compare instruction. So we have a conditional add. This is the predicate by the mask only. Also, the last thing I want to introduce you is the, we also need the operation predicate by mask and links both. You can see this simple code here. This is a code is that the loop length is variable. You can see here. Uh, and uh, there is also a control flow here. Clear? So we need the support here. This is called link mask load, meaning predicate by links and mask both. And also we had the links conditional add here. So yeah, this is the in, interest, interesting that I'm going to introduce you. Okay. <clears throat> so these are these are the stuff that I already uh, support in the RVVJC and uh, include so many middle end changes in the future. After I support the RVV intrinsic, I'm gonna to push them to the GDC upstream. I hope the global reviewers can help me. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, the auto vectorization support uh, is, well, is a very interesting part for the RVV. Uh, actually, so far I have introduced over 100 patterns. Maybe I'm going to optimize it because it's to be 100 customized uh, patterns in the middle end. 
uh, for the auto-vectorization. Uh, I'm going to optimize this to uh, minimize these patterns uh, in the future. Yeah, it is still too big, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, here and also we have a special instruction we call this video instruction to calculate the actual wing vector length. So I introduce a violence pattern to the GC uh, to, to optimize the auto vectorization using the RBV feature. Yeah, I'm going to talk about all of this in the following pages. <clears throat> the first I'm going to talk about is the VLA auto vectorization. You can see here, this is a very simple code vector app, and uh, you can see here, this is the, we set the links. Uh, you can, because this is the real uh, vector links agnostic, so we need to read the VLINX B to, to the scalar register, uh, meaning uh, we, the compiler need to read the vector links from the hardware uh, in the wrong time, because we don't know the vector links. So here, and then every time he bump the pointer, I think you can see here, this is the value that we do this uh, reading relay B. You can see here, right? It's very clear. And then uh, following the sequence uh, introduced by the RVBI say, you can see here, this is, we, I bump the point uh, up, decrement the counter, you can see here, we set relinks, we generate the output. This is output. The output meaning that the number of the element uh, we update or we yeah we 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 operate in the current uh, iteration. So we uh, every every iteration we need to subtract the output of the reset billion instruction until the the total. You can call it total or red, or you can call it the rest of the element we need to deal with until to the to be the zero, and then it sit the loop. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, this is the VLS auto vectorization. Meaning, I specify this. Uh, I show you there is the difference between the clown and the uh, GC. So here, in this uh, in this example. VLS auto vectorization. We need. We don't need because the compiler understand uh, how many uh, uh, no uh, understand the vector length of the hardware. So we need, we bound the pointer just directly with the uh, you can see here with the with the vector length that's be specified, right? So we don't need to read the VLS B. Okay. Uh, this is we call uh, fixed length uh, vector length uh, auto. Uh, auto vectorization meaning if we specify the vector length to be this number, we can only run the binary uh, on the machine with this uh, uh, vector length. However, uh, even though you can see here the, in the cloud, the code chain uh, is worse than GC, but in this code chain, he can uh, run, run, uh, run this. Uh, binary in the vector length larger than this number. Uh, I call it, maybe I call it, this is called minimum, maybe I, I'm going to call it this minimum length VLS auto vectorization. Uh, I, I definitely will uh, support it in the, in the future, maybe in the upstream GC. Okay. Okay, uh, the next is the, I'm going to talk about the patterns that I support in the auto vectorization. Here I list all of these patterns. This is the example patterns that's already supported in the GCC middle end. All of these implementations are only the risk five backend support. I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this much. Uh, so, because the time is limited, so this I call the normal standard patterns. Uh, I have support all of them in the risk five port back uh, I'm not. I, I come, I'm going to skip this part because uh, uh, because I, I, I think this is uh, this is only the backend support. Uh, it's very simple uh, and not very interesting. The next is that I'm going to talk about the middle end changes to support the auto vectorization uh, using RBV features. So I so I include so many 
middle end changes and many uh, patterns for the automatization. The first thing is that I need to introduce is the wire links pattern. Okay, uh, because the RSE or uh, X86, uh, they do the auto vectorization using the mask operation vector, predic uh, vector predication. However, for the RVV, we, as I show you, we need the um, vector predicate by the vector links. And we also have the reset V links, uh, this special configuration setting instruction to set the vector links and calculate the vector links. So I introduced this pattern for RVV auto vectorization. Okay, uh, this is the simple code. That's how I, that this is a, a simple app that I, I already show you here. You can see here, this is the Y links uh, pattern. The key is here. This is, you can call the current uh, number, meaning the rest of the number we need to deal with. And this is the output of the Y links, meaning the number of the elements we, uh, we operate in the current iteration. So you can see here, every time in this iteration inside the loop, we need to subtract by the output of the Y links. Yeah, it, it's clear. So the code chain you can see here, uh, this is the RVV ISA example. You can see here, uh, the code chain is very similar, almost the same. So the RVV GC can uh, use the RVV uh, feature to do auto vectorization. <sighs> okay, the next is uh, I'm going to introduce some interesting interesting patterns that uh, I add to the middle end. This is the link mask low store. Yeah, I have shown you that there is uh, there is the predicate control flow here, and also we need to predicate by the names. So we need to introduce the link mask low and the link mask door, I, I support them in the middle end. So yeah, here you can see here, this is the link mask. So in the GCR, you can see here, this is the links and this is a mask. So the, uh, you can see here, this is the mask. So the assembly is like this, uh, link mask load and link mask store. Okay, the next is the link scatter load and link scatter store, yeah. For the gather and scatter, we predicate by the links only. There is no control flow here. So here you can see it's very obvious, right? This is I, so I add a middle edge. Maybe. Oh, the next, you can see here, this is the predicate. Uh, this is a gather load and scatter store predicate by the links only. The next is the gather load, scatter store predicate by links and mask both. So you can see, you can see the difference. This is the C code only predicate by links. There is no control flow. And this is the code that I add the control flow here. So we need to support uh, links mask scatter load and link mask scatter store. Yeah, it's quite obvious, right? Uh, sorry, may I ask Okay. You? I stop you. There's a question in the audience again. So uh, I can see why you need the, the LEN variants, but could you like unify them with the LEN mask ones? As I think the ISA allows to use an all active mask on, on, on the set vector length, so you, we don't need to, to triplicate all the function, but only duplicate them. And, and have the vectorizer basically specify the, the a constant all set mask when vectorizing only for the LEN case. Okay, you mean optimize uh, because I introduced too much patterns. Uh, optimize it uh, just like unify the patterns, right? The, yes, the, yes. The, so, so, uh, sure, yeah. definitely I'm going to optimize in the future because this is, yeah, uh, as I told you that I introduced over 100 patterns. I think uh, I agree with you that this is this is the thing I need to optimize because I introduced too much here. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to optimize it and merge some of these patterns and then unify so we can reduce the patterns. Yeah.
Okay. Uh, can I move on? Okay. Yeah. The next is the. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yes, we can move on. Thank you. Okay. The next is the links, no links, and the links, no links, the same as the as I before just. Yeah, you you can say this is redundant. I can, uh, I should you know just uh, merge them to to a single pattern. Maybe in the future I'm going to optimize it. And so this is the non common operation meaning links FMA. I I talk about this is the link FMA. The common operation. This is I call ALU operation. So you can hear this is FMA meaning the multiply and then add to the best. So I introduced the links FMA. Uh, in the middle end, yeah, uh, maybe this yeah is too. So we have uh, so for this I introduce links out, links add, links mount, and links FMA links is ten. Uh, like that is uh, is too much, right? Too many patterns. Yeah, I, I will figure. Out, I will try to figure out to uh, figure out way, the way to reduce this pattern. Maybe it's too large, too too big. Okay, this is links conditional, meaning, uh, yeah, you can see here, there is control flow, there is a condition, and there is links predicate. So I introduce links condition at sub, like FMA links condition in this support. So you can see here, this operation is predicated by the mask and uh, by the links both. Okay, uh, the next is the uh, auto vectorization support for the vector scale operation. Uh, in the GCC, we don't support uh, the vector operation between the vector and the scalar. For all for the for the code like this, we first duplicate in the GCC. We first duplicate the this this value into a vector and then do the vector and vector operation. So I introduce uh, uh, operation between vector and scalar, so we can use this instruction, VX instruction. This is the uh, special instruction that the RVV has. Okay, uh, this is the same, this is the vector scalar instruction, but this is the scalar minus the vector. Okay. Uh, the next is the mix operation. You can see here, the mix operation, the, the interesting part is that you can see here, this is unsigned, this is a signed value. I call it a mix operation. So I support this in also in the GC. This is uh, we can use the RVVI instruction. Uh, this is a missed operation in the RVV uh, ISA. Uh, do the return multiply add between a sign value and the unsigned value. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next is the reduction. We have the in order reduction and the on order reduction. So for the in order reduction, we need to to the re, uh, this is uh, actually in order reduction and power is special for the floating point reduction. You can see here this is float. So for the in order reduction, I introduced the links for letters. So in this case, the this is the in all the reduction here, in so this is the in all the reduction, floating point reduction in RVBI say. Uh, in this case, the uh, the operation is that they do the reduction uh, in order from from the uh, from the element zero to, uh, to the highest value. Okay. Okay. The next thing is the on order reduction here, meaning that in the floating point, if you specify the fast mass. Uh, we will need, uh, we will re uh, use the unordered reduction. Okay, but in this we need to TMU. Uh, if you want to want to understand, you can read the I R V I say. So in this case, we use the unordered floating point reduction, meaning that the reduction operation is unordered. We don't care about uh, uh, the sequence that or the order you will do the reduction. Okay. The next is the SLP auto vectorization. The key is that you can see here, the vector length of A is half of the B 
So this is uh, so here. I shift the vector links and then generate the uh, do the SLP auto vectorization using the uh, in the RVD. So here, this is the coaching. I also support the SLP auto vectorization uh, using uh, in the RVD. I say. Okay, the next is the evaluation between the GC and cloud. Uh, the evaluation is that I use the spy simulator, which is count the number of the, uh, how many instructions during the wrong time, that's meaning how many instructions the simulator exactly run. So here, this uh, I pick up some, some interesting benchmark. This is one of the benchmark I call the person detection algorithm, meaning just I don't I, I don't learn this algorithm. Uh, I, I guess it's just to recognize the picture whether it is a person. You can see here the red is the GC. Uh, I use the this is as a base, meaning vector length one hundred and twenty eight uh, LVMU uh, performance. So you can see here overall, the, this is a red. Red is the GEC performance. You can see here the overall the GEC is better than the LVMU. But I didn't claim that this is always the case because this is just the instruction count uh, running on the spike. Uh, if it's run on the hardware, uh, then maybe there is another case. I just only show you that the instruction number, the GEC compile is uh is smaller than the uh than the LVM. less than the LVM. so the other thing is the micro speech algorithm in the tension flow yeah you can see here in this case the GEC overload uh has a big performance speed up than the LVM. okay the next benchmark i'm going to show you is the tsvc here uh, you can see here, this is the line. The line uh, on the left is the benchmark. The number of the benchmark is the GC better than the LVMO. The, uh, the, right the right side is the LVMO is better than the GC. These three cases, you can see here, the LVMO uh, overall is much uh, better than the GC. I have analyzed these three cases. This case is just because the uh, GEC failed to optimize. This is a long question uh, in two years ago. There is a, uh, this is an issue in the bug zero. Yeah, this is overall the same. Uh, this is the bug zero here. I hope someone can fix it maybe or in the future I'm going to fix it. This is the known issue in the GEC that the LVM can uh, auto vectorize, but the GC failed to auto vectorize. Okay, the final benchmark I'm going to show you is the I call Eigen. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, the yellow is I I can you can see here the yellow box. Uh, let, let me introduce the box when the box is longer or the bigger, the difference between the GC and the LVM is. Is larger. You can see here the yellow boxes. Uh, is the GC better the, than the cloud? Uh, the these boxes, uh, or like a blue boxes, are the cloud better? You can see here these three benchmark GC overall is uh, is much more uh, better than the cloud. Uh, very greatly, right? Thirty times better than the. LVM. Okay, let's take a look at the GC. The worst case in for the GC, you can see here. This is here, meaning just the performance of the GC is only uh twenty percent, twenty percent of the cloud. So maybe in the future, I'm going to focus to uh, optimize them. Uh, this is for vector length specified. Uh, auto vectorization, no fast mass. The next is the fast mass overall uh, are similar. The next is the vector links agnostic. For the vector links agnostic, you can show here. This is very big. Almost all of the benchmark the GC are better than the cloud, 
and uh, also the same these three benchmark the juice is so huge uh, the uh, huge the, the uh, greatly better than the LVM moves here maybe I, uh, if you're interested you can you can download the icon to uh, decide to compile them to yeah to try them yeah very interesting right okay uh, the final stuff uh, time, uh, I'm going to run out of time. The final step is the challenge. And to do this, I'm going to show you is that uh, the challenge is that too much middle end changes in the GC I need to uh, uh, change in the GC middle ends to support RVV auto vectorization. So maybe I need the help to 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 make this change. And to do this, I, the first is the min minimum length VLS auto vectorization. Also, RVV cost model. Uh, so far, I use the default cost model, and also more optimized and test of the of the vectorization. Also, we need to support here. This is a very big topic to implement. Meaning, just for GC, both for both GC and LLVM, they they use the LMUL equal to one by default for the auto vectorization. You can see here. If I use the command option, specify, you can see M1, M2, M4. These need the user specify uh, the register group you use in the automatization. Uh, I think the compiler should, should not let the user to uh, define it or let the user to configure it. I, I think the compiler should figure out an algorithm to pick up the best uh, registered group for the auto vectorization. Uh, this is a huge part. Maybe if you have any ideas of this, uh, maybe send me send me the email or, or some paper reference. Uh, tell me how to do it. So that I didn't figure out how to do it. Okay. Uh, thank you. This is all I have. Thanks. Uh, does anyone have, have any question? Not many questions, so I will start. So um, as for getting all of this stuff, even in the middle and upstream, I would suggest to simply start um, implementing the backend support for the patterns that are already there in the middle end, and then like try to merge piecemeal because I as I understand all the development that you did didn't really happen publicly visible on the GCC list so there was no discussion at all um, of, of what you did and that as I suggested for merging of some of the patterns that will inevitably lead to some comments that you need to uh, spend more work on on what you've done right now so uh, and but uh, so at, at the moment it's very difficult to do any experiment with risk five vectorization because there's no support at all, right? And even if you implement some patterns, so just do backend support, it's probably that the vectorizer would already do something, at least if you like fix the vector length uh, or something like that. Maybe so, maybe you can merge, propose merge for the parts that can be done without any middle end changes so that people can somehow play with it and, and get a feeling for how code is generated. Okay, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, mate. Uh, after I support the RV intrinsic, uh, I'm going to first support the fixed links. Maybe this is uh, uh, the first thing, uh, fixed links, vector links, uh, auto vectorization. Uh, maybe uh, we, I don't need to change the middle S, just I only support in the back end and then uh, to f and then to uh, push code related to the middle ends, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it step by step. Yeah, I agree with you. Hi, I have a, uh, basically two questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, you you have a lot of uh, customized pattern which will be introduced in the middle end, right? Yes. So, yes. is those uh, pattern? Did you have any study uh, whether they can be used by some other uh, platform? So, yeah. For example, if 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 you introduce 
some part in the middle end is uh, it's only specific for the risk five so if it can be used by some other platform yeah for other architecture then I think it might be uh, reasonable to introduce in the middle and otherwise seems not very good right uh, I definitely can tell you hmm. these of the uh, patterns definitely can be used by other platform uh, I introduced this platform not my ideas is according to the LVM for example for the link uh, links must load uh, can you remember this pattern are not my ideas. It's the idea from the LVM. The LVM, you can you can search VP or you can see VP intrinsic support in LVM. You can Google it. These are the support uh, predicate, I mean called vector operation predicate by mask and links both. These kind of the patterns are already su uh, uh, support in the LVM. I just copy and implement these ideas in the GC. So I can definitely to tell you it makes sense to support them in the middle end. <coughs> uh, can you can you can you understand my question? Uh, my answer. You can search VP in intrinsic support in LVM. Uh, this are okay. <coughs> yeah, I will try to search it. Oh, uh, 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 maybe we can discuss a little bit uh, offline on this. But uh, another question is: uh, the you you have the uh, the performance data show the LLVM and GCC and TCC doing much better than LLVM. So, do you have any study on what's the reason for that? Uh, I'm, I didn't claim that always the performance GCC is better than the LVM. As I show you, some of the benchmark I, I will show you in the icon, right? Uh, the LVM is better than GC. Just uh, for the GC better, the benchmark GC better than LVM uh, is much better. You can say the difference is big. Uh, if you want, uh, if you say that, uh, how can I do this? I do this just according to the RBV ISA. I I do the optimization according to the RBV ISA and some. Uh, automatization papers and uh, do the study and they optimize them in the GC. Uh, for the benchmark that GC not better than the LVM, I'm still working on it to make the GC overall better than the LVM. This is uh, my goal, right? Yeah, I yeah. think the uh, good, better understanding on uh, why GC is doing better than LVM might be also helpful. And uh, I, uh, I noticed in your uh, very early slides, you mentioned uh, there are some loop in, uh, loop optimization happened uh, for GCC, but not happened for the LLVM, right? You yeah. have one slide on. So is, that's one of the reasons the uh, speed up uh, uh, GCC compared to the LLVM. So it's... Uh, uh, LLVM do the vectorization in a very late stage? Yes, uh, as I told you, LVM introduced the vector predication intrinsic, uh, like uh, the same as the link mask I introduced in the GC. Uh, they introduced these patterns in the LVM, but they didn't fully support them in the middle end. They oh, just okay. uh, support them mm. uh, support in progress. Uh, as I told you, you should search VP intrinsic in LVMO. It's very obvious. It's a lot of materials in the Google. But I fully support the VP intrinsic. You can call VP intrinsic uh, in GC. So that's why uh, overall the GC is better than the LVMO. Again, the the optimization ideas not my uh, not my creative ideas. I I do this optimization just for uh, just reference to the VP intrinsic support in LVM. Even though they didn't fully support in the middle end, I fully support in the GC. That's it, the case why GC is much better than LVM. But I definitely I I think the LVM is finally will will uh, will will will, uh, will support them fully in the middle end because I'm I'm working on it in the LVM too. 
Yeah. Thank so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, we already have uh, the other Bob uh, on the risk five. Uh, so, uh, we need to finish with this talk. Uh, but you can okay. move the discussion to the risk five Bob, which is uh, on the other Zoom link. So, if you move there, you know, you can continue. Uh, so, yeah. But thank you for a very okay. interesting talk and a lot of okay. questions. Yeah. <laughs>